Good evening. This is a video log or vlog that I'll be sending out every couple to three weeks to kind of convey to you some messages that uh, are information that an email just isn't sufficient for. Um, tonight's vlog, I usually try to keep them under two minutes because I know your time's valuable and I don't want to waste your time. So here we go in two minutes or less, uh, the, the, our vlog on our support drive. This Friday we're going to be kicking off our program support drive. Um, I know this beginning of the school year has been really stressful for a lot of people with a lot of fundraising and support. Um, but don't worry, I've been doing this fundraiser for a long time and we've always had a lot of success with it. Uh, and it's relatively uh, painless as, as support drives go. Um, we have been using um, our schools, which is out of Washington State, since the 90s. And every time we've had a, immense success. The product we're selling is magazines. Magazines sell extremely easy. The average household, I think, has like four magazine subscriptions. The magazines we sell, they can do renewals uh, on current subscriptions or they also have the new magazine titles. It's a Time Warner publication, so it's pretty much every magazine that you can imagine is in the catalog. Uh, they have a couple of other items on the website, um, but when we started doing about five years ago, they were moving over to the website. Uh, I worked with the president, uh, John Rourke, to try to implement the new program and get the website going. I said to John, I said, why don't you also allow people to do straight donations? Maybe they don't want a magazine. And we did that the next year, and our profitability went through the roof. So the great thing about this is that as a family member or someone can choose just to donate you know, 10 dollars $15, $20, or they can buy some of the magazine product. We make 40%. Um, you know, if we have uh, each kid, you know, get 10 or so magazine sales or donations, we'll make our goal. It's not very difficult. The magazines, even back in the day when we did them door to door with the, with the brochures, we never had a difficulty making our goal because the magazine product sells really well and the donations are a big hit as well. So um, your student will get a lot more information on Friday, but what I need in the interim is uh, tomorrow they'll be coming up with a worksheet that will be trying to collect some email addresses. These emails do not go to any kind of sales marketing group or anything. They're only used in this fundraiser, and then that's it. They're not used anywhere else. So don't stress about the emails. Uh, if you or your child can contact the person that's on the email, that would be fantastic. You know, like let's say you have an email for an aunt in Tennessee. If your student could call and say, you know, hey, you know, I'm in this program. It's really cool. We do forensics. We do cop stuff. We take field trips. It's really fun. Then um, the uh, the likelihood of the aunt actually responding to the email like triples. So it's very important we do the personal contact. Uh, what's really great is that, like Monday, Tuesday of next week when the emails have started going out, if the if they can do another follow up phone call, hey, did you get the email? You know, because you want to make sure it didn't go in spam. Um, and, and that's about it. You know, there's if the kids want to do some door to door selling, there'll be some incentives for top sales. And you know, a lot of kids really get into that. Uh, but you know, the stuff sells really easily to your neighbors. Again, it's magazines; they sell super easy. Uh, and we take straight donations. It's really, really interesting. A lot of times, when the kids get excited about a program at school, you know, a neighbor donates five or ten bucks. I mean, if I've got ten kids that got, you know, ten people to donate five dollars, we'd be uh, golden. Uh, our needs aren't that huge. We need to make about five thousand uh, dollars. That sounds like a lot, but it's really not. Um, and uh, that money may, goes right back into this classroom. Goes right back to your students. Um, our, the students can come in any morning and print. I don't charge them any money for that. We have color printing. They use the computer labs in the morning, you know, and there's expenditures with the, with the toner. Uh, our forensics labs are very expensive. Uh, we're going to be doing the pig decomp lab. Uh, that's like a $380 lab, and that's money we don't get from the county. You know, the county does a great job. The school does a great job, but there's stuff that we do in this program that sets us above and beyond any other program in the country, and it takes money to do that. And so just be, be assured that every dollar we raise comes right back to your student here in the classroom, uh, providing them opportunities, offsetting costs for trips, um, paying for buses, for field trips, uh, you know, forensic supplies, classroom supplies. And there's supplies in the first year class too. We have a lot of expenses in there as well. So, you know, it's, it's a great program. I hope by now you've kind of figured it out. Your kids got to, we're having, we're, I do my best to give your child the best possible educational opportunity. And I'll ask is once a year, you guys help me sell some magazines and get some donations.